It's just basically what it is. Just oh. say hi to people. Two thumbs up, or that's like seconds. <laughs> hey, man. That's cool. We, we, we gotta talk about this. You know? Like, sorry. Me and the hubby right now, let me pause this, because I want to actually watch this. Me and the hubby right now, we're watching Chariots of the God. Or Chariots of the Gods by Danikin. I, I just love the history in that movie, and I just, oh, it's great documentary. Great documentary, and it's 50 years old, um, which is amazing that it's 50 years old. So how is everyone? How are you beautiful souls out there? That's one thing I want to talk about, M most importantly, is like, I am the type of person who is attracted to beautiful souls, like kind people. Like, kindness really does surprise me. And it, it, it like people being mean to me or being cruel to me that doesn't surprise me um but people who are kind that is what really surprised me and those are the type of people that i really do savor on is the sweet people the people who realize that um hurting others isn't the way in life, you know, like, you want the world to change, you can't change the world by beating up on others. You gotta be that representation of love. You gotta be that representation of, of goodness, of kindness, of, 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 of good faith. Um, you have to represent that, you know, and if someone is coming and, and talking sideways to you, you also, and, and I know it's so hard, it's hard for me a lot of the crudeness to their rudeness, to their boldness of, of thinking of attacking another person is like going to help their situation in any way, shape, or form. It's, it's not. You're just going to be stuck in a constant loop of misery and being stuck in thinking what other people think and how their lives are it's like you need to start reversing that and start thinking on you start thinking inwardly i think that's one thing that i think covid should have taught a lot of us is to think inwardly um think more deeply think how your words can affect others because people are very sensitive in this world um think how your actions affect others and try your best to not affect others in a negative way because you wouldn't want to do that if you're a light worker if you're a light being if you're there to share the world love you know, the most important, the most greatest of all powers is love. It's not hate. It's not warfare. It's it's not that. It's love. That is the greatest of all powers. Why is love the greatest of all powers? Because love can make your enemy into your friend. Love can turn situations from being really bad to really amazing and good. Imagine how the world be if we all just took the time to just allow people to be who they are. Don't try to control their situation. Just be like water. Be zen. You know? Be like the Taoists. What happens, happens. Just let it wash away with, with you, you know. Wash away. <clears throat> wash away. Let it wash away. Because those are moments and events in your life. So your life isn't boring. Um, 
and adversity actually can be a good thing. If you look into Buddhist beliefs, adversity makes you stronger. Because with adversity, you have... You, you can't be weak with adversity. You have to be strong. And you learn different techniques, different ways. You get more wisdom when you have adversity because you are learning to survive. So, like... That's why you don't, you shouldn't hold grudges on people and you just show mercy and grace onto people because with adversity, it actually is a good thing. It makes you stronger. It, it, it like fortifies you. It, it turns you into a diamond, you know, because with diamonds, in order to make diamonds, it needs pressure and heat. That's adversity. So you need that pressure mm -hmm. and that heat so you can be formed into a diamond the hardest of stones the hardest of stones to be to be strong to not be able to break to be able to cut through glass that's why adversity is needed in this world so don't hold grudges and give mercy and grace because there's just so many concepts of 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 how to live philosophies of how to strengthen yourself You can't strengthen yourself if you're constantly coddled. You know what I mean? If you're constantly put in this womb of protection. You can't strengthen yourself. You can heal. You can heal. But you can't strengthen. And, and sometimes that coddling is needed. But sometimes adversity is needed as well. To get you strong. To know what to avoid. Avoidance is also key to life is if someone is being bothersome or they haven't learned to be enlightened and, and calm and peaceful. They haven't learned, especially that, they haven't learned to be peaceful with others. Um, that's where avoidance should be taking place. If they haven't learned that lesson yet in life, and they probably will, and it'll probably be a rough lesson to take is when they realize I must be peaceful with people uh, they the avoidance is, is to teach these people who are being scumbags let's just put it in that reference the avoidance is to teach them you cannot treat me this way I am going to put a boundary and a barrier because as well as you love in others, you must love yourself as well. And that's to protect your integrity. That is to protect your individual, your morality even. You know, if you're avoiding someone who is being contentious, well, let, let, let's, just, let's just think about it. You are avoiding situations where you could possibly react in a negative way. You know what I mean? It's wisdom to avoid those who want to put adversity in your life. But you have to have adversity in order to learn this lesson of wisdom. Unless you hear from me and you take it up and, and not learn things the hard way, which I had to do in my life, is learn things the hard way. It's never been easy for me in life. But I know that peace and love and tranquility and, and live in your life zen like water just allowing these events to flow over you instead of consuming you I I acknowledge that and I have learned that lesson in my life and I want to pass that lesson over to you guys <clears throat> peace and Maranatha